Yo, what's up guys, Cyclone105 today, and today we're going to be covering Unturned's 3.22.12 update, which is celebrating Unturned's 8th anniversary on being released on Steam. And in this update, Nelson added a pretty cool item, you can see it in my hands already, it's a housing planner tool. Now, this housing planner tool is super cool, you're able to find it at construction sites, and you can also craft it if you have a rangefinder and a GPS. But first, let's get into what it does. It affects the building. So normally, if you wanted to place down a floor, you would have to just make a floor and clip it and then place it down. And that takes a while, you know? You have to go through the animation. It's slow, especially if you're building a super big base. But if you have a housing planner tool, you can equip it in your hands and then press, for me, it's T. It'll bring up this interface and you can click what you want, in this case, floors. And you can just kind of plop the floors down. But that's not all it allows you to do. Normally when you salvage, it takes a while. I'm on single player right now, so it's a little faster for me. But, you know, in multiplayer servers, if you're not an admin, this takes quite a long time. But, now, if you have a housing planner tool, you can equip it. And then your salvage speeds are almost instant, which is just so super duper convenient. It'll just make remodeling and redesigning your base a lot more nice. But outside of the housing planner tool, Nelson also did make some extra changes to the building system. So if we go into our inventory and equip some pillars, before, in order to place down a roof, you would need to have pillars on all four corners of a platform, and you'd be able to place a roof. Now, from then, you'd be able to roof out further, but for the NSL, you would need four pillars. And now, that is not the case. Now, if you just go over here and we place down two pillars, you can make a roof right off the bat, which is just a super convenient thing to do. Now, you'll be able to cover up your base faster the initial phase of your base when it matters the most. Now, if we equip more pillars, just for fun, to place these down, we can showcase something else because Nelson changed the actual structures before. It used to be that metal items were the strongest structure. So you would place down a metal wall, and then your base is set. But now it's not the case. Now, in this current phase of the game, Nelson says that this is only temporary, but he buffed the HP that brick structures have. So I have some charges and some detonators to showcase this. So if we place a charge on this wall, and then get out the detonator, the charge took it down to 55% health. But if we go over to this wall, we can do the same. This brick wall would be destroyed or close to destroyed, but now it's at 70%, meaning that only takes away 30%, which means that in order to take down this brick wall using charges, you would need to use four compared to only three with the metal wall. I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm assuming since Nelson mentioned that this is only a temporary change, he's going to rework the bricks structures in the game entirely that might not be true that's just me speculating but right now if you want your base to be as safe as be you want to build it with brick which is the same because it's not a great way of getting brick to find just besides just finding it at construction sites but anyways that's going to be it for this update i hope you guys enjoyed bye